Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, the probably final part of the Tina Day Creator Sims I've been doing. Um, I mentioned in one of my first, either my first or my second one, that I probably wouldn't do the whole challenge, and I was correct. Um, I'm someone that loves creating sims, but I have to be in the right mood for it, and um, I just haven't been in the mood for it, and I also, I kind of realized I make a lot of the same sims, and even though this challenge is supposed to help you kind of break out of that, I still found myself, like, not knowing how to do the stereotypes of some of these teens, so I feel like they just end up looking the same, and I think, honestly, at this point, I have, uh, I think I have, like, 12 sims or something like that, um, and I think that's probably enough. Um, I do kind of want to do makeovers on the teens that came in the world um, and maybe some of the other teens that are already in the world. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'll do a creative sim video on that. Um, I have a few things planned and so I'm not sure if that'll actually happen on camera or not. Um, if it does, you'll definitely see it. But, um, yeah, so I'm not sure about that, but I do know that I do want to make a creative sim for the family I'm going to play with the pack. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure if I'm going to do the family I'm thinking of doing or if I'm going to do a family I've been playing a little bit off camera, um, and just do, like, maybe makeovers of them, um, I have a family right now that's just my current household, and uh, right now, I think the person that I would be playing with um, is currently a fetus, <laughs> but I've been really enjoying this family that I am playing, and I've been enjoying their story, so I kind of want to play with their kid and like keep playing with them and incorporate it into a Let's Play, or I might just keep playing them as my current household and... Um, play a different family. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, so also about the sim, uh, this is Adrian. He is the party thrower sim. Um, I kind of gave him this almost cool, a little bit edgy look, um, but he definitely dresses like a cool kid or like a popular kid. Um, so that's pretty much him. I didn't really, I don't know how to make male sims, so I just did what I could with this sim and I ended up really liking him. I think he'll be probably a pretty cool sim to just have walking around. You'll see his outfit. I really end up liking it. I never go for bright colors with sims, but this sim, I, I really went all out. Uh, I think he has fire pants for one of his outfit. And by fire pants, I mean like they're just jeans. But then at the bottom, they have like flames coming up. And he also has like these bright orange boots. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite the outfit. But I really ended up liking him. Also, I finally was able to get all of my mods and stuff updated for the patch and the uh, new pack and all of that. Man, that was a nightmare, to be completely honest. I'm sure you guys know, uh, if you're a mods player, that it's just patch day is never fun. And this patch in particular was really, really bad. Pretty much everything broke. XML injector broke and... Therefore, everything that relied on XML Injector broke as well, uh, which is a lot of mods, more than I thought. So I did finally get all of those updated, and I haven't actually put them in my game yet. I haven't actually patched my game yet. Uh, I still have those all separate. I have like a separate mods folder that's just sitting on my desktop, and it's called High School Years Mods. And... It's identical to my current mod folder, plus like a couple small things that I ended up adding. Uh, I added a couple mods related to high school. I added the choose your own classmates mod and I added a mod that fixed the obnoxious teen phone thing and the phone obsession. I already had a mod in my game that made it to where Sims didn't use their phones as much when they were like watching TV or just doing things that you would think that they wouldn't constantly be on their phones for. Uh, it drove me crazy. And so I just went and found a mod that did the exact same thing I already had, 
but also made it to where Sims don't stomp around on their phones constantly because that just drives me crazy. And I've seen some really crazy glitches with that feature as well. I saw someone on Twitter post about how one of their werewolves was mid rampage and on their phone uh, and they were doing like the rampage run and they were on their phone. So I, this this pack and this patch has been incredibly buggy, incredibly glitchy. And I'm someone that normally plays on long lifespan too. And so the fact that long lifespan was broken and Sims were just randomly aging up really fast uh, was kind of stressful. I did not want to update uh, mostly because of that. There were multiple other bugs that I didn't want to update because of, but that was the biggest one. I didn't want my Sims to die. So I just decided not to patch, and if I had, I probably just would have turned aging off and done it manually because I do that sometimes too, where I just, I'll have aging off for a little while and then I'll put it on short for a few days and let everybody age up uh, throughout the town and then keep uh, playing with aging off because I want the story progression to happen and the aging progression to happen. But I also, I kind of want to draw out my gameplay sometimes, and so sometimes I just want to enjoy my Sims living life, and I feel like sometimes their lives are too short. I'm, like, attached to these Sims, and I'm not someone that plays legacy style or, like, with a ton of generations. The most I'll usually get to is three generations, and that's it. So uh, I don't really try and speed through my gameplay. I'm trying to just enjoy the gameplay, and usually that means aging is very slow for me. <laughs> um, so we are on to the next sim here. This is Riley, and she is my teen that is 16 and pregnant is the theme. And I do want to mention, you know, I'm not trying to glorify teen pregnancy in any kind of way. It was just one of the prompts, and unfortunately, it's a thing that happens in real life. Uh, you know, teens are dumb. I was a dumb teen, like, and sometimes protection is not always used and adults make the same decisions. Um, so yeah, I also was really struggling with her because I was trying to find, um, an outfit that would kind of cover her bump. I imagine that she is in her first trimester right now. And I imagine that she is hiding it still. She knows, but nobody else does. And she really doesn't want anybody to find out. And I think she's part of a popular crowd. Um, maybe she's a cheerleader or something like that, which is probably dangerous to do while you're pregnant. But um, I just, I want her to kind of have this storyline of hiding it a little bit, and I was also trying to find a balance of clothes that would hide her pregnancy, but also I know like once she progresses in game, she's going to be showing her bump more and more. So I wanted her bump to um, be not like weird and glitchy. I know some of my CC sometimes can be where it like clips and does weird things when the sim is pregnant, so I was trying to find something like that. I also did make this sim, um, I did make her pregnant, and um, I ended up switching her back to her first trimester, and I have the smaller bump mod um, right here. She is actually, this is a second, second trimester pregnancy bump. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Um, but I ended up switching her back to first trimester because I feel like the Sims, you know, you put clothes on your Sims and you can really see their bump, which is great when you want like cute screenshots of baby bumps and that kind of stuff. But man, I was struggling. I spent so long in this Sim just trying to find an outfit that I thought was cute for her and like fit what I imagined her style would be, which would, I think her style is like preppy, but more edgy side of preppy. Um, but I do think she's still like very popular and that kind of thing. Um, but I was really just struggling to like find clothes for her and I got really frustrated with her and I just ended up kind of putting in her in whatever I could find that I thought was cute and it is what it is, whatever. Um, I did also end up having to go back and change some of these Sims outfits a little bit because I had... A bunch of CC in my folder that I didn't really want and I was trying to get rid of some of my CC especially because with the patch I was going through my mods and CC already and so um, I was trying to get rid of some of my CC and I ended up getting rid of a few things that I used on some of these sims so I went back through and I changed their outfits a little bit 
So if you end up watching my high school year, year Let's Play and their outfits are a little bit different, I'm sorry. I I had some stuff that I used on these Sims but would never use again or very rarely used. And as much CC as I have, I actually try to keep as much CC or as minimal CC as possible because uh, my game does not like me when I have a ton of CC in my game and I also find that I end up with stuff that's broken or stuff that's missing meshes or stuff that I don't want that's just clogging up the catalog and making me have to spend forever scrolling. Um, I'm also trying to stay kind of maxis match with a lot of my CC and um, I like to be able to blend in-game stuff with uh, CC stuff. Especially with the high school years pack coming out, there's so like so many cute things in that pack and so many things I'm going to want to use, especially on like my played sims. And so I want to be able to combine the CC I have with the other stuff. Um, so I just went through, I cleaned out so much stuff. I think I ended up, I do the Sims 4, not Sims 4 Studio, Sims 4 Tray Importer uh, method where I just dump a bunch of CC on to a few sims and then go through the household and delete like all of the CC they have except for custom skins and customized stuff like that. But I ended up having six Sims with every single outfit filled with stuff. Um, you know, there were a few at the end that maybe only had like a shirt and like a couple accessories or something. But for the most part, uh, it was six Sims with every single outfit filled. And by filled, I mean... It wasn't just every day, but it was all five or six potential everyday outfits, and it was insane. And I still, I'm kind of like looking at my CC folder, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm done. Um, there's still still some stuff in here that I want to get rid of, and I didn't even touch toddler, child, or male CC, uh, because there is so much of it. Um, with those three combined and it's just annoying to have to go through and I also honestly I make so many female sims that I feel like that's where the problem is that's where I spend forever scrolling so as long as that's cleared out um, I feel pretty good about it uh, like I said there's always stuff I want to get rid of but the problem is really not even my CC folder it's my mods folder where I have way too many mods to run in any normal game my computer just yells at me every time I play the game, but it's fine because I love my mods and I don't know if this game's playable without them um, at this point. I was just thinking the other day about how I've been playing this game for 12 years and that is insane to me. I've been playing since just after The Sims 3 first released and, you know, back in the day it was... I would play just like the base game for hours and hours and hours. And then when I got a new pack, I remember I got Generations for Christmas one year and I was so excited and I played just base game and Generations for hours and I loved it. I didn't have any store content at the time. I didn't even know CC and mods were a thing back in The Sims 3 days. Like I just played the game. And when Sims 4 first came out, I played the game, I think, for maybe a couple days. And then I was like, all right, I want CC. <laughs> and so I ended up going on like my first ever CC's haul spree thing. Um, at this point, obviously, I knew that CC was a thing. And I watched, I think I watched a lot of Eliandra's cast videos back then and so that's where I found a lot of my CC stuff and I would go through her videos and her links and her tumblr and then I found Max's Match CC World but then I also for a while there I ended up going down a rabbit hole of alpha CC but then I came out of that pretty quick but I did used to use a lot of like clayified hairs which are just basically alpha hairs made to look a little more Maxis match, which I liked for a while, but now I just really want like everything in my game to match pretty well. Um, and it doesn't have to look like necessarily something that EA would make because we know, all know that they aren't necessarily great at making stuff. Um, it just, I want it to look like something that fits into the way the world looks and the way other Sims look 
when they're just dressed in stuff from base game or, you know, non-CC stuff. Anyways, I have talked through like half this sim. So this is Alexa Park. She is our theater kid. Um, she is super, super cute. I kind of wasn't exactly sure what to do with her. So I ended up imagining that she's this theater kid, but she also really loves um, maybe like dance. And I feel like she's a really big fan of like K-pop idols and that kind of thing. Um, and so I gave her like a super heavily um, inspired style based on that. And I ended up really loving her. I don't normally make cutesy sims, and so this was definitely a little bit different for me, and I think she's so cute. <laughs> so now we are on to my least favorite sim I have made. I think I just hate making sims that I hate, and by that I mean like, um, I knew going into this sim that I wasn't going to like him very much. He is the bully. He's the high school bully. And his name is Colt McDaniel. Um, and I hate him. Um, he reminds me of all the people that made fun of me in high school and middle school. And so creating this sim, I was kind of like, man, how do I make a sim that's like cute? But um, I also kind of hate. <laughs> so I gave him, I gave him uh, more of like a casual athletic style. Because I don't know about you, but um, when I was in high school, all of the mean kids were the kids that were, like, on the basketball team. And that's not to say that all the kids on the basketball team were mean, but the kids that were mean were on the basketball team, if that makes sense. So, um, and not necessarily basketball, but they, like, played sports and that kind of thing. The mean kids at my school were also very popular, um, boys and girls. And so... Um, I imagine that he's probably very popular and just not a very nice person. And like I said, I hate him. So I don't even want to talk about him anymore. Um, the next time I do make though, I'm in love with her. Um, she is so cool. She has the coolest style. She's the inner rock band sim and she has beautiful blue hair and a super cool like layered style um that's like kind of alternative um if you couldn't tell I like to make a lot of alternative sims because that is my personal fashion preference and so creating sims that just get to wear whatever they can with whatever accessories they want and whatever doesn't matter there's money is no object in this game um as far as fashion so um, I really enjoy making sims that dress the way I think I would want to dress if I had maybe a little more money and a lot more confidence. So, um, that's why all of my sims end up being alternative. I did want to mention also, um, I'm working on the next couple parts to my Strangers Let's Play. Uh, if you haven't seen the first part or the create a sim for that, you should totally go and watch it. Um, not to toot my own horn, but I'm loving the storytelling already and I think it's pretty good. My mic quality isn't great and it probably isn't great in this video still. Uh, I'm still playing with it quite a bit. But I think the storytelling is pretty good and I love creating stories with my sims and creating not even necessarily like drama, just like telling stories about things that happen in real life and real problems and exciting good things but also bad things sometimes. Um, and so I'm really enjoying talking about her story but I have uh, kind of struggled to actually edit the videos for that. Um, I've just been kind of wanting to play out Rosemary's storyline and, you know, talk about it and do all of that. So I'm loving recording, but then I just want to keep playing. I don't want to edit. So I need to just work on editing the videos because I want to get them out to you guys. And I'm really just, I want somebody else to like enjoy this with me. My husband just thinks I'm crazy when I talk about my Sims, like they're real people. And so I want to kind of share that with um, someone who actually kind of gets it um, and gets the storytelling and gets the excitement of playing with life 
essentially, um, and doing whatever you want in this game. Um, I was thinking a lot about how people have talked about how this, um, the Sims franchise has just gone downhill. And I really kind of unfortunately agree with that. And it makes me really sad because I love this game and I've loved it since 2010. And I love telling stories with my Sims and I love playing and enjoying it and all of that. But I hate EA. <laughs> um, and I know everybody says, you know, you shouldn't bash EA and, you know, it's kind of everybody has this idea of like bash the company and all that. But at this point, I just feel like there's so much performative marketing going on and there's so much that's broken and just so much stuff that I'm so disappointed by. And I feel like I'm constantly just being disappointed by EA at this point. And I really want more from this game that I've loved for years and years. And I know a lot of people think the same thing. So it's really just kind of sad to see this game going downhill and everything being broken. And, you know, EA just not caring. People still buy the packs and that's all they care about. And it makes me really sad because I just want to continue to love this game. And it's really hard to love this game when it's broken constantly. And... They're making decisions that are just bad and they're promising things and not delivering them. And it's just super, super, super disappointing. And I'm totally pro The Sims and I'm pro this game, but I'm just really struggling to continue to want to support EA when they just aren't creating a game that is the same anymore. It's just not... It's not the game I used to love anymore. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, the only thing saving this game is the modders. And they're really just holding the entire Sims franchise together. I've also seen people talking about The Sims 5. And when I think about The Sims 5, I just... I can't even imagine what The Sims 5 would look like. And I don't even think I want a Sims 5. I'm so, I'm like, I'm happy with The Sims 4. I just want it to not be broken, if that makes sense. Like, I love the content we have. I'm not particularly interested in, like, asking for a bunch more stuff at this point. Like, I am pretty happy with what we have in the game. I just want it to work. That's all I'm asking for. You know, I still don't even have, I don't have my wedding stories because it's so broken. And honestly, I'm happier with what I already have and the original EA wedding system. And the only thing I can really think of that I would want from my wedding stories is slow dancing, but there's a mod for that. And there's mods for everything. And so if there's things that modders can do better than EA can do, I really just, I don't even see the point in any of it. Um, and so I'm just, I'm really sad for this game. I love it and I want it to be better, and EA doesn't care anymore. And I also want to mention that I don't think it's necessarily, um, I don't think it's Maxis. I, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but I don't think Maxis is the problem. I think EA being this big, money-hungry company has always been the problem, and has been the problem since the Sims franchise first began. Oops, sorry. I really just think that this game could be perfect um, or nearly perfect if it just worked consistently, if I didn't, you know, have to search for bug fixes for everything or mods to fix everything. If the game itself just worked, um, I think I could be really, really, really happy with it for a really long time. I don't need a Sims 5. I don't need a change in the graphics or the way Sims look. I'm happy with it. Um, I just... Want it to be fixed and as soon as they do that I will be so happy and I am perfectly willing to pour all of my money into this game but at this point in time I'm not willing to do it because it's just not worth having a completely busted game. So we are on to that last sim that I was talking about. Her name is Harper Harper Kansu um, and this is the sim that I love and I'm obsessed with. And so um, I really spent like way too much time creating her. And I love her blue hair. I love her style. I love everything about her. 
um and i think she's pretty cool and um that is actually the last sim for this video i know i made five this time i've been making four but i really wanted to make this sim because i felt like her style was going to end up being really cool and it was like right up my alley and something i totally wanted to do but also sadly if you've been enjoying the tina day series this is the last one um i can't make any more sims i'm done with it um uh, Sometime in the future, if I decide for some reason to come back to the Tina Day prompts, um, if anything, I might go through and like pick and choose specific ones that I want to do. Um, but there's some of them that I'm just not very interested in. Um, so I might pick and choose, but honestly, probably not. Um, if anything, I might just make some random other Sims or make over other Sims, like I said at the beginning of this video. I might just uh, make over all of the townies that are teenagers, so my sims are cute. So if you would be interested in me making over some of the townies and seeing that on the channel, uh, let me know because I guess I could share that if I end up doing that. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed watching me make these sims and the rest of the Tina Day series, and I hope you stick around also for the continuation of my Strangers Let's Play and also the beginning of my high school years Let's Play, uh, which will hopefully not be very broken. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a beautiful day.